Hey, what's up guys? Tiger Flash here and today Apple just released macOS Big Sur version 11.2 which we're going to install on this particular computer which is a mid-2012 Univoli MacBook Pro. So actually this video is going to show you how to install macOS Big Sur 11.2 on unsupported Mac. So again, like all previous installs, you're going to need a USB key to do it. So a 3.0 will be better but 2.0s will work but sometimes you can have issues with 2.0 so 3.0 is better but if you have just a 2.0 it should work and you have to have at least uh, 16 gigabytes on the particular usb key so yeah i know that in the last video i made i promised you guys a patcher that was able to automatically update uh, for Mac OS Big Sur version like for example 11.1 to 11.2 uh, on unsupported Macs. For now this patcher is not ready yet, it's not yet finished. So well, I, you'll need to do it all again with the uh, Ben's patcher which I think is the easier one. But uh, sometimes the compatibility is uh, not as good as the other patchers that you can see in my first video that's going to be a link down below. Uh, I'm going to definitely find a link for 11.2 to put uh, in my first video uh, that dates back from like the first time that Big Sure was released, like in November. But uh, yeah, for most users, Ben's patcher is so much easier, so much quicker. It finds the version automatically. Automatically, It's it's really a good patcher. So I'm going to use Ben's patcher in this video. But if you have an older Mac and you have issues, maybe my first method in my first video is going to help you out and work the best for you. But actually, Ben's patcher works flawlessly on 2012 and 2013 Macs without slowdowns. It, I mean, honestly, this Mac is faster on Big Sure than it was on Carina. And a lot of people has backed me out on uh, that subject. But if you have like 2011, 2010, it's going to work, but it's going to probably be slower, even if with the old patcher, you know. Because it's not uh, supported with my metal group GPU for your 20, uh, 2010, 2011. I mean, just 2012 and 2013 have metal GPU. So actually, it's going to be a bit slower on older models than 2012, but it's going to be doable. But another disclaimer here for Bench Patcher, you actually need to come from Catalina to install it, uh, to install Big Sure. So with the first video, again, that's gonna be linked down below, you can come from an older version in Catalina and it will probably work without issues. But with Ben's patchers, you have to come from Catalina and have a USB key that's uh, bigger than 16 gigabytes, I mean 16 or more. 3.0s are better, like I said, but 2.0s should work uh, in most cases without issues. Also, like I said, you need to come from Catalina to uh, use Dispatcher or, or from Big Sure, of course. But uh, if you come from Moavi, it's not gonna work. So actually, uh, a couple of people updated to Catalina with uh, like a 2011 using uh, those dude patchers, and then they updated here, and it was actually working for, for those. So I think you can do that, that's always an option. Okay, so again, uh, I just wanna talk about the this micro patcher. So actually, the micro patcher is the patcher that I've used on my first video, so to update to big sure the first version. Uh, that came out so you can find this video uh, in the description below and actually this patcher is a bit uh, will work with more computers so like older stuff like weird stuff you know this will most likely work so i'm just gonna put a 11.2 version in the description of this old video and you can uh, install it right there but for this video and for most people you want to use ben sova big sure patcher so actually this is the easier one and it's the best one for most people. So actually I'm gonna put this link down below and the first thing you wanna do is go here to releases and you actually want to download it. So you go down and you download patchsure.dmg like this. So you just wanna click on it. I'm gonna put it on the desktop. And actually again, a disclaimer, I know I've said it in every video, I'm gonna say it again. This is a pretty safe method. I mean, there's not a lot of chance that you're gonna lose your stuff, but like any update, uh, I really advise you to, um, you know, put all your stuff on an external hard drive just to be safe. If in case anything happened, just you're gonna be um, backed out and you're not gonna lose your data because there's always a chance that, you know, you'll have to reboot your Mac completely and look formatted and everything. So I don't want you to lose your data. So definitely bag it all up, be safe, if something happened, you're going to be safe. So with that said, you're gonna want to open the DMG file. And then when this is open, you actually want to right click to open it and just open it like this. 
So once this is open, you say, yeah, I want to open it because your Mac does not recognize it. So here you want to start. You know, this is still not finished. You just want to continue. And here, how it works. So actually, Patcher is a simple application for getting macOS on unsupported Macs, like I said. And, you know, like you said, it works fine on 2012 MacBook Pro and uh, later. But it can also work on uh, earlier models, but you have to come from Catalina. A lot of people made this mistake in my previous video. So, yeah, actually, you want to continue here. And here you have a choice. So, actually, you want to go to public beta, developer, or releases. So if you want to put a beta, you put beta, but I don't like betas for my part, and especially for all models. I mean, I just want my things to work. So I'm going to go to releases and then I'm going to continue. So here, what you want to do, you want to update or clean install so you can decide. So here, of course, I'm coming from macOS Big Sure 11.1. So I want to update because I'm already on Big Sure. But I mean, you could also clean install from Big Sure, but Man, and we'll, here we will, we're gonna just update. But if you're coming from Catalina, which is the only other macOS version that is gonna work with Dispatcher, you want to choose clean install. And then if you clean install, I'm gonna repeat it to you later, but you'll have to choose EFI boot uh, before booting into the system like we're gonna do with updating. So actually you wanna choose update and continue. And now it's got loading some tools and catch patch. So actually catch patches, is uh, mostly for Wi-Fi, but there's also other things. So yeah, so now that your computer has patched everything that it needed to, you can download macOS 11.2. So you just want to download it. And now it's actually downloading. So you will wait, so depending on your Wi-Fi connection and your, the speed of your hard drive, and can take uh, like, uh, you know, like 15 minutes or so, maybe more, maybe less, doesn't matter. Just wait for it to be finished. Okay, so the download is just finished and now this is the part where gonna, you're gonna need your USB key. So this is actually a 32 gigabyte USB key and uh, it's a USB 3.0, so it's the best that you can use uh, for those kind of Macs. And you actually want to insert it right there and uh, now you can continue. Okay, so once your USB key is actually uh, recognized by your computer, so me it's install Mac OS Big Sure, just because I've used it to install macOS Big Sure 11.1, 11.0.1 and everything. So it's actually called install macOS Big Sure. Uh, here you want to enter your password. So a disclaimer here, your password has to uh, have no special characters. So just letters and numbers uh, to prevent uh, anything from happening that, uh, that will cause an issue. So no special character in your password. So actually it's your administrator password. So uh, just to be clear. And now you want to continue and it's actually installing packages onto the USB key. So you're going to be able to boot uh, and everything's going to work. Now you have to select a USB volume to install uh, the Big Sure uh, operating system. And actually know that this will erase everything on your USB key. So make sure to have nothing important uh, on your USB key because it's going to get erased. And here you want to uh, select your USB key. So me, it's install macOS Big Sure. Bootcamp is my Windows version and macOS SSD is my SSD. You're going to most likely be Macintosh HD. So we are continue, like I select my USB key and continue. And now, you know, the USB key is going to be erased. So yes, I know it, continue. And now it's creating an install media. So here it can, the time that it will take may vary. For me, it's around 35 to 45 minutes with this USB 3.0 and 3.0 ports. But for you, uh, it may take longer if you have a USB 2.0 or, you know, an older Mac with 2.0 ports. So 2011, I have 2.0 ports. It's going to take uh, more time. Okay, so once it's finished, as you can see, uh, what's really interesting about this patch is that it's doing everything for you. So you don't have to do anything else. So actually now you can close everything on the computer and just restart it. So here I'm going to restart the computer. Yes, leave the USB key in, that's really, really important. And now we're gonna wait for the computer to restart. And when the computer is gonna restart, you wanna actually press option key right now and hold it. So now you can see me, hello, <laughs> in the reflection. And uh, yeah, you're gonna press the option key and then there you go. So now you have some options. So you have Windows, this is my Windows partition, maybe you won't have that. 
This is like Macintosh HD, my hard drive, install macOS Big Sur or EFI boot. And now, here, if you did uh, a clean install, you want to EFI boot because it's the first time that you've installed Big Sur. But if you just update, you can go directly to install macOS Big Sur. You move with the arrow here, those arrow, and you install macOS Big Sur and you press enter like this in install macOS Big Sur. So now it's gonna boot into uh, install macOS Big Sur. So now you wanna wait a little bit. Okay, so around two minutes after uh, choosing the boot drive, uh, you're gonna end up here. And actually you wanna go to install macOS Big Sur. So sorry for the big reflection, it's crazy. And you want to continue. And now you're gonna, uh, it's gonna start the process to install macOS Big Sur. Here is version 11.2. So now you want to continue. And now you're going to pretend that you've read all of this and you want to accept and yeah, accept again. And here you want to choose your drive to install Big Sur on. So here is the USB key. So you don't want to choose the USB key. Here is my Windows partition. So we don't want to choose that. And here is uh, the drive of the computer. So for me, it's WD SSD Mac OS because I've changed the hard drive in this computer for WD Blue SSD. But for you, it's going to most likely be Macintosh HD. So you want to press on that with the mouse again and continue. And now it's going to start the process. So around 40 minutes to an hour, maybe a bit less if your computer is fast enough. And it's going to be installing Mac OS Big Sure. So I'm going to see you then. Okay, so there you go. The computer just booted back up, took around 45 minutes and I'm running macOS Big Sur version 11.2. So the latest version. And I swear to God, I'm going to make a video when uh, you will be able to normally update uh, your Big Sur version without using the USB key and everything. But for now, this is what you need to do. But as you can see right now, I cannot connect to Wi-Fi. So how to fix it? Okay, so to turn Wi-Fi back on, it's actually really easy. You have to go into your finder right here, applications. Then you want to find patch sir. So actually look for the P here, patch sir. You want to open it. You actually have to uh, right click and say open. And now you can force to open it. And now you want to find patch kex. You want to click on that, continue. You have to have your USB still plugged in for it to work, but the patcher does not recognize the USB. So you actually have to force skip check. And now you want to enter your password again, no special characters because it's not going to work. And you want to continue. And now it's patching the files. So when it's going to be finished, you can actually reboot your computer and Wi-Fi is going to be working. Everything's going to be uh, faster. Uh, because now the Mac was optimizing for Big Sur and the Wi-Fi is going to be working. Okay, so it has finished patching uh, the file, so you can actually restart the computer to finish. And uh, so now basically the uh, computer is going to restart and uh, Wi-Fi is going to work. So just wait a little bit. Okay, so the computer just rebooted. So now you can eject your USB key. You can trash the DMG file. And now, as you can see, if we go to the top, I'm actually connected to my Wi-Fi. So let's try that. We're now on Google. And if I search for, for example, YouTube, as you can see, no wire with Wi-Fi and it's actually working. So mid 2012 MacBook Pro uh, running Big Sur 11.2 without any issue. But now, what if you cannot run Patchcat for whatever reason? I had a lot of a lot of comments and um, issues with this. So actually, um, let's uh, what uh, I'm going to show you what you can do if you have problems using my older uh, video. So check this out. So actually, thanks a lot for the subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, well, so here you're going to have my new video, you know, uh, the one that you're watching right now. So 11.2 and then there's a video here, 11.1 and you actually want to find this one. So it's 23, 23 minutes and this is the video I was talking about. So actually, if you scroll down here and you look in the description, so this is the first patcher I was talking about, 
that you know will work on more models but for most people you're better off using the video here that you are actually watching but if it's not working this video can be uh, very helpful and i'm gonna try to uh, find a link of macOS big show 11.2 just to put in the description down below here so here is actually the first version so 11.0.1 and uh, one thing I, got, I want to show you if I click on this link, actually, and I download the latest version like I just did, you don't need to do that. This is if you have like issues or if you want to use uh, my old uh, method. But actually, if you download here the zip file like this, if you have like, for example, if you have issue with the Wi-Fi, this can actually help you out. So here is the zip file that just downloaded. Okay, so it's opening, let's go. You can open this folder that was from the zip file and you wanna to go to payloads here. And actually you can find the patch catch.sh file. So if you're having issues with your Wi-Fi at the end of the video, like when we were gonna finish the process, that's just if you're having issue at the end of the video, you can actually download what I just download on my first video and just drag this patch kit file directly into terminal. So I won't do it because I don't wanna, you know, screw my computer up because mine is actually working right now. It's, an, it's downloading the new update. But if you have no Wi-Fi, you will just wanna drag the file right here and you're in your terminal and it should fix your Wi-Fi issue. So uh, most of the time it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the time it's definitely worth a shot and uh, actually uh, insert the usb key also just to be uh, to be sure so there you go the montage is just finished and we're rocking mac os big sure 11.2 on this mid 2012 macbook pro works like a dream don't forget to leave a like if you love the video subscribe and uh, i'm gonna see you later ciao ciao